hello guys welcome to c learning with new video in this video we will learn about the rip routing protocol which is a distance vector routing protocol uh, in my previous video i uh, was about uh, static routing you can go and watch my previous video about static routing how to configure static routing in this uh, video we will learn about the rip routing protocol which is uh, a distance vector routing protocol protocol work on maximum 15 hop counts it means that it cannot work more than 15 hop counts like if we have the 15 number of router like router 1 router 2 router 3 and like this area router 4 5 6 and up to 15 or 16 so from router 1 to router 2 is the one hop count so rip protocol only work on 15 hop counts this is the one hop count, two hop counts, so three hop count, four hop count, maximum 15 hop counts in the RIP protocol work beyond if we have, if uh, our destination is beyond 15 hop count, uh, the RIP protocol will not work. So we have an other protocol like OSP of, we will learn about it in our very next video. So how to configure RIP protocol and how RIP protocol work, let's configure it. First of all, we will assign IP to PCs 192.168.1.1, dot 192.1, 192.1, 252.255.255.1, 192.168.1. 5.1 is a gateway I have assigned all the PCs the IP address and now I this PC this network is this network is 192.168.1.1.0's 1 uh, 1 network here is the first IP is the gateway IP and second IP is 1.2 is this and 1.3 is this same like here 168.3.0's network 3.1 is this one and 3.2 is this and here's like same 5.1 is this 5.2 5.3 so don't be confused about it so here is the network 192.2.1 is this and 2.2 is this 4.1 and 4.2 so don't be confused so i have assigned all the pcs the ip address now we'll go to the router so we configure the router so first of all we assign the ip address to router uh, interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 and ip address is 192.168.1.1 and 24 24 which is the this interface of router now we will go to the another interface of router which is z000 we are here and now we will assign this IP address 192.168.2.1 and 24 sorry IP address we I don't use the command of IP address IP address and now yes we have configured so we will go to router 2 now we will configure IP address here uh, system view first of all we will go to interface g0 slash 0 slash uh, 0 and IP address is 192.168.2.2 which is the, this IP address and now we will go uh, subnet mask is 24 subnet mask is 24 now we will go to this interface and interface uh, g0 slash 0 slash 2 and ip address is ip address is 192.168.3.1 and 24 and now we'll go to this interface interface is 1 and ip address is 192.168.4.2 and 24 now we will go to this inter this router and configure the same uh, system view interface uh, g0 slash 0 slash 1 and uh, ip address is uh, 192.168.168 uh, dot here, here and 4.1 4.1 4 and 24 and now we will go to this interface which is 0 slash 0 slash 0 and IP address is 
IP address is 192.168.5.1 and slash 22.4 <coughs> now we configure the IP address now we can ping the its gateway it this router only can ping its gateway and then this interface of router because this belong to the same router so this router don't know about what is configured on this interface this side and this router only knows this PC can configure this interface uh, ping this interface this interface and this interface but because this router only know these three interface this router don't know about this interface and beyond this behind this interface and same like this uh, this PC only ping this interface and this interface but uh, this PC don't know or this router don't know what is configured behind this router and this router so that's why we use the routing protocol to tell router so what is configured in neighbor router and beyond this net neighbor router so I will show you by pinging uh, ping 192.168.1.1 so it's pinging it also can ping 2.1 2.1 yes it's pinging but it can't ping 2.2 which is this one 2.2 it's not ping yes it will not ping because they don't know this router don't know about this router this neighbor router so that's why we configure routing protocol ping 192.168.5.1 which is its gateway and it can also ping 4.1 4.1 but it will not ping this so we will tell this router as uh, by RIP protocol yes now we will configure RIP protocol on router 1 on router 1 how to configure RIP protocol we will go back and we will we'll write RIP 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 and RIP and version 2 version 2 because version 1 does not support subnetting you can also use subnetting in version 2 version 2 ok now we will only configure the networks uh, which belongs to this uh, this router so this router contain the network of uh, 1.0 and 2.0 now we will configure network 192.168.1.0 network and 2.0 network nothing else this router only have two networks so it only contain two networks so we'll only uh, uh, we configure rip and assign two networks so on router 2 quit rip version 2 and network 192 dot 168 dot 3.0's network 3.0's network 2.0's network dot 2.0 network dot 2.0 network and 4.0's network 4.0 this router contain 3 network 2.0 3.0 and 4.0 so 4.0's network yes now we will go to router 3 on router 3 we also do the same rip rip version 2 version 2 and router 3 contain the network of 5.0 and 4.0 network network sorry network 192.168.4.0's network and 5.0's network 5.0's network after configure this by telling this uh, configuring rip on router rip start sending the packet to neighbor router that uh, i contain the network uh, i contain the network of 5.0 and 4.0 it uh, 
we have configured uh, rip on router 3 uh, uh, router 3 will tell its neighbor router that i contain the network of 4.0 and 5.0 uh, also 2 uh, router 2 will tell that uh, uh, router I will I contain the networks of 2.0, 4.0, and 3.0. Also, router one same like router one. It uh, tell its neighbor router that I contain the network of 1.0 and 2.0. So any data uh, about 2.0 and 1.0 send me. And this router also say that uh, I contain the network of 2.0, 4.0, and 3.0. Any data from uh, 4.0 uh, and uh, uh, 2.0 and 3.0 send me and uh, also tell this router that send me the information so that's how the rip protocol work it send the packets to neighbor and tell that i contain this this network and send me data about this network so now we will ping this pc which is uh, 3.2 it will work first we ping the 2.2 it doesn't ping but now it will ping 2.2 it's ping yes it's pinging so now if we ping this it also ping this pc 3.2 which is the address of this pc this will also ping yes it's pinging if we ping this pc if we ping pc 5 pc 5 have address 5.3 from pc 1 to pc we will ping PC5, PC1, ping 192.168.5.3. So it will ping. Yes, it's pinging 5.3. You can ping any PC from any anywhere. From PC5, I will ping PC3. Ping 192.168.3.2 which is the address of this pc this will work yes the response is coming so that's how the rip protocol works so this is the complete configuration of rip protocol if you configure any uh, only router should know about its own networks uh, to configure rip you have to give the network which are attached to the same router with uh, router 1 contain only two network router 3 only contain three network and uh, two only contain three network and router 3 only contain two network only tell this router that you have this network and uh, this router will start sending packet of rip pack packets to neighbor router to tell that how i have this network so that's all for today's video Hope you like it and please subscribe. Thank you very much.